Hey everybody, welcome back to another diecast review. This was Race Craze here. This is going to be Jimmy Johnson's 2016 Martinsville Race Win Elite. This is actually an only Race Win Elite from 2016 during his uh, miraculous chase run. So the box here, all Elite uh, box standards. Roll it around a little bit. And then over to the other side. I'm glad they went back to the other Elite box. I never cared for this Elite box. Martinsville win, one of 252. Same exact amount as the Charlotte race win. Again, they also made these in color chrome. Comes with a race winner sticker, bag of confetti. Comes with this fun little 240, number 242 of 252 serial number card. They don't know those anymore. And Johnson keeps championship hopes alive with a Martinsville win. Uh, this was a you know, a race where Johnson just, you know, typical Jimmy Johnson got out front uh, with about 100 to go because of some good strategy and good calls by Chad Knaus. And uh, he had a fast car, but um, was able to capitalize and win the race and then eventually win, on, win at Homestead too. But, uh, yeah, the championship, because they do it with the chase format, I, I it's hard to uh, – if I say Jimmy Johnson seven-time champion, I say with an asterisk because I don't think he won the seven legitimate championships the way – Again, he followed the rules, so I can't say he didn't win them. But I just, it's something about not having to be good the whole season. Like, you know, that's where the other championships to me were a little bit more official. I would, but I mean, again, they're, they're official in NASCAR's books. It's just, um, I don't know, I think they, they cheapened up how easy or how lucky you have to be to become a champion. You used to have to be good and lucky. Now you just have to be lucky. Um, you still have to have some speed, but again, it comes down to one race, so it's like, you know, that's just my personal opinion. Again, not a fan of the chase, if you have never noticed. Anyway, start off here with the uh, Martinsville diecast, just like the Charlotte one. It is gorgeous. The, the blue and silver paint is perfect. Um, this one's a little more beaten up and tattered. You can see we got a lot more race marks down the left side here. Uh, and this one's back, back heavy as far as confetti. So more race, race marks there. We've got the yellow, blue, and red confetti here on the back inside here. There's our fuel cell. Fuel cell and also the braces and tethers. I don't think that's the right rear tailpipe for these. I don't remember for sure if it's the singles or the doubles. I'll look on the Charlotte one, see if those are right. Yeah, the Charlotte's singles, so one of them's wrong. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be doubles. I think it's supposed to be singles, but either way. One of them's not right, so that was something that for some reason had taken my know years to get fixed. Anyway, down the right side here, more raced marks, uh, some confetti again on the back there. We've got our three winner stickers, one that says the round of 12, and now we've got one on the other side that says round of eight. Um, then we got the blue and silver, more race marks there. No right side window because of the uh, short track, and they don't they don't make us uh, uh, run the the right side windows or make them run the right side windows in there and there I can kind of see inside there harder to see but there's some of that detail that's inside um, inside there I'll try to get a better view of that in a minute I'll do that at the end uh, down the rest of the right side though to the front uh, again that nice blue got some raced up front end but not too bad kept it pretty clean um, Lowe's confetti on the hood and then Johnson up here on the windshield banner confetti there uh, this is an elite, so the there we go. So the roof. I thought it was gonna stay. I really did. There we go. There's our confetti or our uh, roof flap with the tethers, and now onto the hood, which I'm always very cautious about because you have to be. There's our hood with the braces and tethers. There, got some pretty good detail in there. Um, you know, not where it used to be, but not bad overall still. So there's that detail there. And 26, uh, 2016 Elites. There, I got gotcha. you. Window net does come down. You can see some of the detail inside there with the, the gauges and the steering wheel hoses and seat. I don't know. I might leave the window nets down on some of these race ones. I don't know. I've got a couple of Kyle Busch ones too that are kind of neat. And there's in there you can see the fire extinguishers. See if I can push that camera up there nice and close so we can see the dash. You see some of the dash stuff in there. It's, it's kind of tough to see just how much detail. I'm going to get that pushed right up in there. There you go. Now, So there's your detail on the inside. I don't know if 
I've ever done this before. And then you can see a tether hanging down. Those are two tethers from the roof flaps. And the rest of the inside, we got those black pillars and the there's our red uh, the red fire extinguishers down there. But um, you know, overall, uh, you know, the detail has definitely lessened over the years compared to in like 2006 and seven. But you know, the outside de detail has gotten a lot better. So um, not giving an excuse, just saying that, that there is there's still a, an art to the detail because they didn't used to have to put banners on the windshields and you know, names on them and, and other things like that. Um, and then the underneath is pretty good too. So there's our underneath for the Elite there. Um, oh yeah, DIN number 242, because you can't see it in the back window, but. Um, but yeah, that's the Jimmy Johnson uh, Race Win Elite. So uh, this, this is definitely one of those, uh, because I've got the other one, I've got them both as a set. Um, kind of a neat part to have for, the collect, for my collection. Um, Especially being it's uh, seventh win, seven championship, but I love I love elites and I love uh, elite race wins. So uh, the twenty seventeens are my favorite. So I'm gonna have to pick up a few more of them. Probably uh, see what which ones are still available at Lionel. But um, this has been Race Craze. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed by July seventh if you want to be eligible for the diecast giveaway. That'll be on Sunday, July seventh. So make sure you subscribe before then. Um, but otherwise, this has been Race Craze, and we'll see you in the next video.